In 2014, the bee toured inside the suspension span, which uses an unusual self-anchored design. The single main cable is attached to the bridge itself inside sealed, dehumidified chambers. The chambers were drenched during construction. Leaks through bolt holes at the bridge surface caused high humidity and puddles of water inside during storms. For our April 2014 investigation, we took photographs inside a chamber along with samples of residue from an anchor rod and a strand of the main cable. Lab tests of the bee's samples along with photographic evidence proved that the cable and anchor rods had rusted and were coated with salt, which accelerates corrosion. Caltrans dismissed the findings, although independent experts said the corrosion makes the rods and cable strands vulnerable to cracking. If the strands crack, Vibration caused by trucks overhead could worsen the problem and jeopardize the strength of the span's main cable. Then, in a two-part investigation published in June 2014, the bee explored weld cracks in roadway segments and cross beams of the new span. Our investigation showed that a Chinese firm that built the roadway and iconic tower ignored quality rules. Caltrans permitted an unknown number of cracked or suspect welds in the suspension span. Officials say the bridge is safe and structurally sound, but independent experts, including some former high-level Bay Bridge engineers, say that the new span could require costly maintenance during normal use and suffer grievous harm during a major earthquake.